my name is Debbie Davis. Last year I was lucky enough to secure the Teacher Fellowship as part of the Stimulating Physics Initiative. Education in schools is changing at such a rapid rate, but to have someone uh, who's involved within it and can pick out the relevant points to us and actually look at what we're doing and say, well, you know, that bit isn't in A-level anymore. Had you realised? And, and sometimes we haven't. They can tell us exactly what's in the syllabus and what to expect from our students. So A, we're not boring our students by repeating something they've learned, but B, we're not assuming some knowledge that they don't already have. So that's been incredibly useful to us. It's surprising how far you've come in the, in the year, though. If their lecturers know much more about what experience all of their students have had, then it's, it's going to help the, the lecturers and the staff here at the university make that transition much much easier and much smoother. What you've got here, you've got accelerated uh, beam of electrons. Stimulating physics teacher fellows are, are extremely useful to us and to our students because they understand what that gap is. By coming here they, they can see what our students are experiencing at university and of course they know what they've already experienced at A-level. So as well as talking to the students uh, and helping the students, they can talk to the first year teaching staff and really explain to us what areas of our physics that we need to perhaps tweak a bit because the syllabus at A-level has changed and we need to take account for that. Some have a kind of more of a teaching background and they're very good at communicating it across. Others do you clearly know, they know what they're talking about, but they obviously find it harder to communicate it to, especially, I suppose, to the first years, because we don't have the background. Did you do anything on errors in any of your experiments? Um, very, very basic. Um, this is a lot more in-depth and very hard. We do struggle, because you're used to having a, a teacher who's used to teaching maybe 20, 30 students and being very one-on-one. -on -one. To go into this bigger group, sometimes you can feel like you're sat in the middle of a seat of 100 other people and nobody really cares what's going on. I found it quite difficult because there were only three people in my A-level class. So um, coming to such a big, you know, big lecture, big lecture theatre, and there's so many people, it, it was quite difficult because uh, at A-level, if I had a problem, I could just immediately ask my teacher there and then. Whereas if you're stuck in a lecture with with sort of 60 other people, you know, you don't always want to just put your hand up and ask questions and everything. But uh, the fact that you can have a tutor to go to then. After, even after the lecture, it's really helpful. We get our jobs for being good at research and then they throw us in at the deep end uh, with, with the teaching and some people are good at it and some people aren't. Uh, a, a lot of it is, is, is experience, but, um, uh, which is actually why one aspect of, of these fellowships has been very useful because Debbie's actually sat in on a lot of our lectures, especially in the first year, and then she can discuss with the lecturers the sort of areas that perhaps the students will find quite difficult. That, you know, we may not be aware of. I think it's benefiting the staff and the students. I mean, the students are, are finding a friendly face around they can talk to. It, it's, it's like a, a conduit to, to feedback to people who might be a bit more scary than, than Debbie in the labs. I've been able to inform the lecturers as to which bits of the A-level specification the students are likely to have a really thorough grounding in and which bits they're likely only to be just aware of. And it's benefiting the staff by giving us current information so we can adapt uh, some of our worksheets, some of our teaching methods to take account of the fact that their experience in school is changing. Another benefit is actually to have a, a teacher in the school because uh, some of our students are very interested in going to, into teaching and you know they have somebody on hand that they can talk to and, and discuss the pros and cons of teaching. Yeah, it's just helpful if you get in a tight spot in labs and you're not sure what you're supposed to be doing, kind of go over and ask, which is always you know, reassuring. At some universities there is a problem of retaining students, particularly in their first year, so anything that we can do to improve that situation is only going to help. We came in at the beginning of this scheme, we've had two teacher fellows, we'd be delighted to carry on and have a teacher fellow every year. We've got an enormous amount out of it and of course the fellows themselves have got enormous it's been a great experience uh, to do something a bit different and think about uh, the, the wider picture of physics education. It's, it's been a, a, a great experience for me. We certainly intend to have more, we hope to have more in the future and I would recommend to other physics departments to uh, take on these fellows.